I don't know if it's dance music per se. It's more um, I have m- music that has an emotional resonance. Okay, you can say all music does, but I prefer like minor chords and much deeper music that that feels very what's the word heartbreaking, heart wrenching, um, melancholic sounds. Um, I feel like that that's a quite an unexplored. Um, area in terms of music here in Kenya. Hi, my name is uh, Jinko and you can find me on social media, Jinko Beats across all platforms. Um, I'm one fifth of uh, the East African Wave Sound Collective. Your wave has yes, in essence being five people doing their own thing but unhoused under one entity so um, if you see the history of Yewiv we all were solo artists from before and each of us removed our projects and even under Yewiv if you go to the Yewiv um, SoundCloud you can see that even under Yewiv there are a lot of projects that are by us as individuals so one thing um, I want people to understand is when you're as a collective, um, we also allow the people within the collective to be individuals in themselves, yeah? So they can remove the projects, but it's all housed under one um, block. I think Yui does represent Africa. By the fact that we're African, we're in Nairobi, it's an African country, and also we're not blocked off from the world at large. I mean, the internet is here, music on the radio is from America, from the UK, so some from Australia. So, like, there is a big amount of knowledge and a big amount of influences that we are all akin to, and we all. Um, and the, these influences influence us in very many ways. So what I feel is like all of this music, film, art, all of this creativity, all of this knowledge from this world at large is coming into Kenya. And what we're doing is we're interpreting it in our own way. So it is African. And if you don't think so, <laughs> Spotify playlist in June was uh, really necessary. I think um, Spotify is a great platform and it's sad that it's not here in Africa, but outside of Africa, it's um, a platform that's very easily accessible and streaming is right now the center fold for music consumption. So that playlist was just saying, this is Nairobi, this is who we are, this is the type of music that we make, and we want to take part uh, in the greater scheme of things in the world that consumes music and the world that we live in. And I really hope that more people, more um, Kenyan artists join Spotify and the Spotify, and then we'll send a plea to Spotify to be like, finally, please come to East Africa. So that playlist was just a start and um, I'm really happy with a lot of the people who are in that playlist. Some of them are my peers, um, some of them are members from my collective, but it's really good that a lot of people are getting the attention that they deserve. Just is not essentially my first solo project. Um, I had done one before called um, Amadeo. Uh, that was um, my first initial uh, project. And um, that was quite scary getting into the creative industry here in Kenya because it was a very experimental record and it was more electronic and more housey because I was at that time very much um, inspired by Tomorrowland and the David Getters and those type of people so I really wanted to have uh, my own unique spin on that sound. Um, as for Dust, I feel like Dust um, is a project in which, which I've matured more and um, it's more um, chill at down tempo and it's now tackling um, very mature issues such as uh, relationships and also 
loneliness and also losing someone you love and um, it has a much more bigger um, context to me personally in my personal life as well. So um, the energy for Dust came from there. As for um, collaborating with Wanja, um, it happened through, um, we met online for the first time on SoundCloud, but I had known of her work before because I did an internship with uh, Motion Image and Sound where her brother work, worked, um, Do Horror, and he's the one who introduced me to Wanja's type of music. So I was just like, wow, I really like how she has this really um, deep, raspy, um, folky voice. So I really thought she'd be a good person to complement that type of style and tackle that type of subject matter. Advice Corner guys, welcome to Jinku's Advice Corner. And today, presenting to you is Jinku. Okay, um, so, uh, uh, seriousness, uh, my advice to people um, joining the industry would be consistency and work ethic. Um, that's two of the most important things. And humility, I also forgot to say. Being humble, because you know you don't know who who it is. It's going to be this young kid today who's going to ask you for advice or wants your autograph or is a fan and they just want to be in your presence. So I just feel like whoever comes up to you, you just need to be good to them because you don't know how they will affect your life. And uh, personally, as a musician, I've been booked and... I've gotten opportunities just from having a five minute conversation with people. So always strive to be nice. And that's the first thing. Um, secondly is work ethic. I think everybody should achieve their 10,000 hours. Um, in whatever you do, this doesn't really apply to music. This just applies to life in general. Your 10,000 hours has to be done. You know, you have to put your craft into it. You have to become a specialist, you know. And with that, when you have your work ethic, that allows you to perform better, allows you to be much quicker, allows you to be more efficient. And um, consistency, also consistency ties into work ethic because consistency just means that you're constantly improving yourself and constantly putting out music, constantly investing in yourself and that's just very important. So remember the three pillars guys. What is it? Humility, hard work and consistency. Thank you. <laughs> I know the last one was very goofy. <laughs>